Yes. Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Mega Comrade Officer Clement Iranomigo Edegbe, broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas, United States. Uh, today's date is uh, Thursday, March 28, 2024, at about 10.24 a.m. in the morning here in Dallas, Texas, United States Central Time. Well, uh, as you all can see, you are seeing a different picture. Uh, first of all, I want to wish uh, His Excellency Prince Clem Ikanade Agba happy birthday. Uh, I am shocked. I thought he was evil. He was he was evil sixty two or sixty three, but I didn't know that he's completely sixty today. So I want everyone to go ahead and uh, wish uh, our leader uh the the number one uh man of the job value who value you uh his excellency praise club in canada agba uh, go ahead and wish him happy birthday he's our leader he's our is uh, uh agba bola global father so everyone should go ahead and wish our 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 our, 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 our superior superior agba happy birthday god bless you sir uh, another thing is that uh, hmm, Akataka, wonder shall never end. We are waiting for the former speaker, uh, those state house of assembly former speaker, uh, right honorable Vitor Edoro. We are waiting for him right now. He's going to be here today. Uh, and we are also waiting for other surprising guests that is going to be here. But for now, uh, we are going to stop at that one. And um, right away, this show is the people's show today. You can see right now, the my number is right there. Uh, this is a show where everyone will come today and voice uh, their opinion in a respectful way. Uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. So we are waiting for uh, Chief uh, uh, Adora to, to show up and come and tell the whole world uh, the situation of uh, of things in Edo State. So let's go ahead and wish uh, uh, His Excellency Prince Clem Agba happy birthday, guys. Let's do that right now. Let's do that. Everybody, let's do that. Okay. So that is the first thing for us to do. Uh, well, for those of you, Akataka, uh, <laughs> Ah, la wow. Hey. Ah, this one I say, what about uh, Senator? Uh, Doro is here. We have a surprise guest today. Uh, I want them to come and tell you how they intend to do it. That is not my job. And then um, once I am in this broadcast right now, once I am in people freedom movement situation room, I am an independent man. Once I leave my studio, then I become APC independent. So right now on the show, I am completely independent. So I want you all to know, uh, know that I'm not going to be a spokesman to or a spokesperson to anyone for, for today. Uh, you know, that is it on that one. Uh, we are waiting. So you can go ahead and if you want to call and wish our uh, His Excellency Prince Clem Agba, happy birthday. Uh, we appreciate it because uh, we really, really value him a lot. We value him a lot. And uh, don't waste time. Share this video in order for us to, to hit the ground running. You know, we have to start right now. No wasting of time. Don't forget, I got to go to work as well. So time is against us. So we have to do whatever we got to do to make sure a lot of people know about this uh, broadcast today. Uh, earlier today, <coughs> an amigo special area area. Uh, we have our first call. Let's pick our first call. Uh, hello, caller. Super, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. I'm How are from you? From Radio Emilia, your son. I want to wish my excellency happy birthday. Uh -huh. I'm calling. Okay, so that's I good. wish Clement Agba 
He come out there. I wish him happy birthday, long life and prosperity. Amen. I wish him all the best. Although, although people miss him for the race of governorship, we are still hoping on him. We are still expecting him anytime, any day. Okay. He's the best man of the job. I still wish him long life and prosperity. Thank you Once so much. Again, everything you lay your hand upon and from this moment I prosper all closed doors shall be open. What what stop your father will never stop you, Clement. As by what stop your mother will never stop you. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Let's pick the second caller. Hello. Hello, caller. Hello, sir. Yes. My, the great Akataka. Yes, go ahead. Double, double. Uh -huh. Hello, uh, Ego Defi from uh, Sweden. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I want to say a uh, big congrat to Chris Agba for his birthday. And uh, I wish him a uh, long life and uh, prosperity. Amen, amen. Yeah, so I thought uh, Senator Modi Boy was supposed to be here today. Ah, he's listening to you. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a host. Ah, okay. Mm. I will see, I will, I will see, I study him or... Uh, we are waiting for, for his, uh, there's someone that's supposed to be here right now. Surprisingly, we are still waiting for them. So let's okay. keep our yeah. finger crossed and wait for them. Okay, uh, that, the person that is coming, is coming from his camp to, to clarify... Uh, we want to know, yes. We want to know, maybe okay. they are still... They are still updating him, so let us wait and be patient. Okay, so mm. that's the reason why I call. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, I'm yeah. thank you. So, uh, <laughs> Akataka, uh, uh, this one said, I hope today video will be, will be today broker will be video. Uh, happy birthday to. Mr. Agba, God bless you. Thank you so much. So I wish I had money. Uh, I have money in Jesus' name, but uh, the money has not come yet. Uh, I would have been in Nigeria to celebrate with my, with our our principal. You know, our principal. Agba Bola for life. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, uh, guys, <laughs> hey, Hey, trouble they sleep, somebody go wake up today. <laughs> I never even share the video. I have not even shared the video. Let us go ahead and let everybody go ahead and, uh, and share this video before we even begin, right? Let everyone go ahead and share this video, right? Hmm. Uh, uh, Akataka. So, as you can see, we are waiting. We have to wait. The old world is watching. We are waiting. So, we are waiting. You know. We are waiting. We are waiting for... Thank you so much. Happy birthday for... Uh, Senator, uh, uh, oh, happy birthday to Prince Principal. God bless you. Okay, uh, you know, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, I, I want to first of all quickly say this before everybody talk. PFN situation rule is not a child play. -o. I want everyone to know that. When you see a political leader that that dare come to PFN situation rule. Live, oh God, make you value one. Respect him, oh. No criticize and respect him because he no easy. It's not easy. Anybody, any politician, or oh, who are vying for position that they are going to PFN situation room. <laughs> oh God, I say with him, respect him, value him. You know, is you. We are expecting. 
Uh, let me see right now. I think I'm getting a conflicting uh, message. Let me quickly go ahead and uh, check this, guys. Uh, you can see right here, there is, uh, we have uh, this right here. This was uh, for Senator Mondo Pueblo on, on, I think it was on Thursday last week. Uh, this is for Senator Mondo Pueblo representative today. So we are waiting uh, for them. So maybe they have a network difficulty or maybe they have not uh, downloaded uh, uh, Facebook or YouTube. We are still waiting. We are waiting for APC. APC! <laughs> we are waiting for APC. Labor Party. Pay the pay. So please go to PDP platform, APC platform, Labor Party platform, or political platform. Go and share this video. Let them know that PFS Situation Room is live right now let them know that pfn situation room is live so go ahead and do that immediately that's what i want everyone to do right now go ahead and while some others are doing the sharing we got to do this you know what i mean mm. and uh we are easter is coming i hope every one of us you know uh enjoy this uh easter you know in jesus mighty name please make sure you do the needful take good care of your family uh you know that is it on that one the the second one mega mega i greet you <laughs> this was able to joke no unfortunately we cannot use uh, another person to replace uh, mm, we cannot use another person to replace uh, uh senator so we have to give him a spot uh the old world can see this now so we cannot use that ai have his own time so uh if not this easter maybe ai would have been here maybe saturday or sunday so but uh let's see you i might surprise a lot of people so we cannot do that. Sorry. So let's wait for Senator Mondo Pueblo, APC, flag bearer, uh, people, uh, repetitive. If I don't must, uh, uh, at least it will be better if we, the audience, can. Uh, 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 let me see what you wrote there. Uh, so. You know. Wait, you know what is when? Wait, and I want to explain. I'm not here to explain. Eh? I'm not here to explain. So I'm not going to explain to anybody. Uh, we are waiting for his team to come and uh, uh, explain to the whole world, to a do in diaspora. So that is not my job. My job as a host, this PFM right now, I'm an independent man right here on this show. So I have to treat everybody equally. Uh, God forbid if it is a doctor, uh, do, uh, Dr. Aswan Igodalo, uh, people that is doing this, maybe I would have gone wide by now. So a lot of people are watching. They can see how, how I'm trying to manage the situation right now. Uh, yeah, oh, Clemagba is a different person. Uh, hello, caller. Hello, Mega Mega. Yeah, please lower whatever you are using to watch me, please. It's hey, so I'm not watching anything. Okay. Uh, Can you hear me now? Uh, maybe you should off the fan for now, please. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Your name and where are you calling from? This is Chris. I'm calling from Liverpool. Okay, Liverpool. Go ahead. I said this last week. Uh, so, um, when he said he was going to come, he come out of this. Yeah. I said that this man has never done any interview on with you. 
I said he was not coming, and I'm right. He's not going to come. He's probably going to send somebody to come. We wish an insult to our faith. It's, it's the dead minute now, and the future started, and it's not coming. They are just as they came as a point view. Did you call and give us two straight hours? This man who is supposed to come by four o'clock after the appointment of Saturday, he's doing the same thing again today. It's not somebody that is reliable. Go on, go for actual good dialogue, please. Let actual call your principal. I just want to work for him. This Monday is probably that one that you don't take any time of today. Otherwise, that's another waste of time. It's an insult to the Afro-Africa. For me, twice and see, it's a typical politician who is expecting federal might to win elections, and it's never going to be a, a governor of a state. Never. That's my contribution. I all right, am, all right. Thank you. Am, thank you. Oh, sorry that I caught it. I didn't mean to. Uh, sorry. Uh, guys, uh, people have opinion. Uh, you're asking for my number. My phone number is right there in the public domain. Uh, people have an opinion and a, I have no excuse for this uh, let us give them time please let us be patient let's give them time let's give them extra 10 minutes so after 10 minutes if we did not hear from them we will, I will explain I will tell the whole world what I know uh, as a as an independent man on this show, I have to be, I have to be honest to my audience. I cannot lie to my audience. So that is the fact. Uh, let us hope. Uh, mm -hmm. Let us hope that uh, maybe their network is good, or maybe uh, because earlier today. Uh, one of uh, his people, I think I'm getting, uh, I'm trying to share this video by myself. Uh, you know, I'm trying to share it. If you can help me do that, that will make it easier. I will be able to check messages. Someone said he sent me a message, but I'm not checking it right now. You can see I'm face down sharing the video. Uh, that is it. <laughs> Eh, akataka. <laughs> Please be patient. Be patient. Let everyone be patient. Let's give them a little bit of time. Be patient. Believe me, we will do this for someone else. But God forbid, we do not want anyone that want to rule our state. Uh, situation to be like this. Uh, that we, I don't want that. We don't want that. Mm. Uh, so, uh, you have to call him, my brother. I think. Uh, hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Yes. Chris, uh, I, I, yes. I'm a prince calling from UK. Mm. Uh, the link for them to enter uh, the your invite, the you no know, your guest today. It's unable to enter via the link you sent. I don't know how you can reconnect with the place. I there's nothing I can do about this. We are planning this for more than four or five days now. And uh, the the media director just joined me a while ago. We spoke on, on the link. So you might want to call the Peru media director. He know how to join me. He was in the he was in the studio earlier today. No, so, not the not the media director. Not yeah, the, I said call the, the call the media. I'm talking of the your we, guest. You know yeah. we are on live video now. Call the media director to direct him. To direct him. Okay. I'm already on live video. I cannot abandon people and start working okay. on that one. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank, thank you. you. Mm. Thank you. Uh, the world can see the situation right now that uh, according to them that they cannot connect. Uh, uh, Believe me, Senator Mondukweburu, media director, was in him. We were together in the studio about a few minutes ago. Uh, you know, he came in with no problem. So he came in with no problem. 
so maybe he might want to join us now he's watching uh so i don't know why they're afraid of uh, questioning that is the fact uh, this platform belongs to the people so people have right to call and question abi so that that is the fact. the question is uh, you go that low uh now you go to a place please before we do this you know there are some apc uh apc member who are who are jobless who has no job at all i want to make this guy famous uh i want everybody please pick up a pen and a paper to write this number i want to make him famous i don't know him i heard he had no job i don't know his name but somebody said he know him that uh uh his phone number I saw his name as bad jobless who always insult anybody that posts my post on everywhere. The phone number is plus one. I mean, sorry, the phone number is plus two three four eight one 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 seven nine five four zero four. I repeat, the phone number is plus two three four eight one 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 seven nine five four zero four i want every poor innocent poor citizen masses to call this number ask him what is his problem uh and i want to know uh his uh, his or her family so that they can take him to psychiatric uh psychiatric hospital or oh, that is the number right there plus two three four eight one 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 seven nine five four zero four so please i want everyone to call that number hello caller hello caller please if you call me before you call me make sure you mute or whatever device you are using to watch me unfortunately uh those that were supposed to be here cannot connect uh they said they cannot connect uh uh kataka now wow area we are waiting the whole world can see this right now hello hello yes your name and where are you calling from hello your name yeah yeah. Uh, yeah your name and where are you calling from i'm calling from italy okay go ahead yes i have watching your show and i think uh, you have given a great view contribution to the people of the state for the betterment of the country please speak louder speak class. louder speak louder hello caller Hello, Mega Comrade. The man that is doing a fantastic job. Thank you so making much. Adult you... people, making Edo people know the right people to vote for to make Edo better. Thank you so much. Well, mm. I'm calling to just add my own two cents. Please tell us man, where where your name and where you are where you are calling from. My name is John Bosco. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah, I, I I want to add my own two cents here. Is that how can a man that wants to rule a Joe state cannot come? your program and take questions from those people he wants to know. How can the man that wants to rule in those states doesn't have a media team that can put him through to you to make sure that he talks to the people he wants to vote? Look at the way I swear Igodalo made his phone very easy. Very, like, like seamlessly. He was told that what time he's going to be there. That time he logged on and he was talking to those people. Please, we want somebody that we can talk to, ask questions, that can take questions from those people. And tell us what he can do better than what is on ground right now. If you cannot do this little thing now, is it the just that you can that you'll be able to run? We need to check these things out before we make a we make a wrong decision. Because that's why Godalo is the man anybody wants in that power now to run a those things because the man has everything it takes to run a those things. And for you, Mr. Mega Comrade, you are doing a fantastic job. And don't let anybody cower you. You are a strong man, you are a powerful man with your uh, media we are, we are and we are we appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. God bless you. you we have uh, you. our brother. Uh, please go ahead and introduce yourself to the whole world, please. Uh, well, good evening, everybody. 
My name is God's Will Inegbe. I am the director of media and publicity for Senate on Monday, Okbevolo Governorship Campaign Organization. And I'm also the legislative aide to the senator on media and publicity. Uh, I greet everybody. I greet our my Bini brothers and sisters. I greet my Akoko Edo, Esako, Owa, brothers and sisters. Of course, I greet my Esan people, Esan Ukbewolo. I greet everybody, the good people of Edo State. On our way down south, Samans. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you can use your language to greet your people. Uh, if you want to, uh, Honorable Goswe, you can use your language. Speak your language to your people. You know, welcome uh, to Situation Room. It's not easy to be here. We want to <laughs> applaud you. Uh, this is a scary platform. Go ahead. Wabulu, you okay, sir? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any one like Bakara? Any Igini? Any Sovoka? Any okay, sir? Big Bay? Nekere ru ukoko na agbona eneri wi san eneri wi Nigeria eneri wi Evoli Bo me tu e wa rewe o me he omo ni wa biele na kinle e God swili o wi negbe no ise no ni isan central local government vai me ye wa kara o ma ma che me o si gongon ahu me o de gongon wa mo anara e mi e oni program una ma sa bo vai bo e mo ana Babulu Bulu, Mamma Ye Kwemi on the Bia not only program Nakiana Chai the Ancoma, Mega Comrade, Clement, Eranomigo, Omon at those state Bielli, Omon at those state Rehu, my yellow bulu bulu. We went now sitting over when now on the platform now. Marigan Babulu, I do people, oh ye, oh ye. God bless you, my honorable. Uh, Dr. Austin, I see you are trying to call me. But you have to come on a video. Uh, we don't patronize uh, audio contribution through uh, to our platform this way. Please go back, exit, and come on a video. Okay. Uh, God bless you, Honorable Goswe. Uh, you welcome to Situation Room. What is going on with the camp uh, campaign? What is the situation of the campaign? Well, th thank you so much, uh, my great brother you first and foremost i want to profoundly appreciate you and i wanted to put i want it to be put in record of what you are using this platform to do and for us that live in nigeria for us that live in those states we are proud of what you are doing you are an illustrious son of a those states and we deeply appreciate you your effort of deepening our democracy, of deepening the right for fair hearing and fair expression of minds, and for giving the platform for anyone to express him or, him or herself to the best of himself or her knowledge. Uh, I haven't said that. For us in Senator Monday, Okbevolo campaign organization, we are doing well, we are doing fine. You know, the truth is that in politics, every, if you have been in the system, I mean the political system, you know that if you want to succeed in the political spectrum, you must have your will or your own strategy of playing your politics. For us in Monday, Okwewolo campaign organization, we don't do copy and paste. We don't copy others. We don't move with the bad wagon. We we are strategic. We are planning. We have a set of goals, and we are taking it according to plans, not according to how some people want it to. Be. The man we are working for is someone who understood the nuances of the political dynamics, both in the states. And of course, in the country Nigeria. For instance, quickly, I want to refresh our memory. If you recall, our great party, 
the All Progressive Congress APC had you know uh, had a primary election that was almost most people think that the party was heading towards explosion because of the process of the primary election. My dear brother Mega Combray, if you recall that 21 persons contested that primary elections. Ordinarily, ordinarily, my brother, if not for the quality leadership of Senator Modi Ukwebolo, by this time, APC will be divided into many groups, into many factions, or better still, so people thinking about the option to opt out. But after the primary election, the senator insisted that before any campaign activities can be deemed in earnest, those who participated in the primary election that didn't get the ticket, of course, uh, from the outset, we understood that as when 21 persons were vying for the position, it's only one person that eventually get the ticket. And one person actually got the ticket. So he insisted, I mean, the senator who got the ticket, that he doesn't want to kickstart the campaign now. What he want to first, what he want to do is to first and foremost put the, his house, I mean the APC family, in order by reaching out to everyone that participated in that primary election. And of course, reaching out to their supporters and their admirers to bring them together first before talking about politicking or campaigning. And that's what he did. And today, I'm proud to say that he has successfully achieved that, of course, with the support of some major stakeholders of our great party and leaders of our party who came together and, of course, lead a reconciliation process that have today come into friction that APC is one united family in those states. And we are stronger and ready not to face the campaign and, of course, face the election. So the senators. He, he, he actually dis demonstrated leadership by ensuring that nobody was left behind. He didn't really behave as the winner take it all. As far as he was concerned, the primary election, there was no victor, no vanquish. Everybody must come up. But, so you all will agree with me, my dear brother, that he was able to bring everybody together. And today, everybody that participated in that primary election, we are together in APC. And that is one of the quality of a good leader the ability to unite a house. So as far as we are concerned, the senator has demonstrated that he's a unifier. He's a unifier. That is another good quality for him. And that's the kind of quality we need for the next leader who will lead the state to the place that we all desire the state to be. And of course, now I hear some people say uh, our position uh, a uh, party or a position uh, contester is a campaign team or is a campaign organization and all that. As I said before, every campaign organization have their own strategy. They have their own plan. They have their own agenda. For us in Senator Modu, every campaign organization, we are not doing follow follow. We're not the copy and paste, Mauga. We're not the do each other as they do. Now, what do we plan our own one do? When we want to start campaign, we'll go campaign. Not be a do. Now, I don't politics. We've been in this process for years, my brother. I don't want to sound uh, with that as more demonstrated spirit of immodesty here. But what I'm saying, in essence, is that the senator, who is the gubernatorial flag bearer of the APC in those states, is someone who understood the politics in those states and, of course, the politics in Nigeria. That's why when he came out to contest for the Senate in, for the first time, in all places like Esala, Esala that we knew that it was dominated by PDP, the man came out and he campaigned. He, we, political artists they spoke for him. His records, his achievements, you know, was what he campaigned with. And the people loved him because of what he has been doing. And for the first time, he broke the political genes in a those central central district by winning the central election. And today, also, the man has broken under this, of course, by being the first, another member of APC from a those central central district, to be the first gubernatorial candidate of that party. So, the man himself is prepared, and he understood the process. And at the appropriate time, he will bring out all he's known for, and all he has in kit. So, my dear brother, mega comrade, we are ready. 
the campaign organization is ready. We are putting things in together. And by the time we start, I can assure you, my dear brother, those who are having some reservations concerning the Kubernetes uh, kind of APC, uh, uh, the Senator Modo Pevolo, they will later, you know, decide to say, ah, oh, we didn't know it's going to be like this. Because the, the, the Senator we are talking about is not a political new fight. With all due respect, it's not a political new fight. So the man knows what to do at the right time, sir. So, okay. sir, that uh, is all we are doing the condition. Uh, God bless you, uh, Honorable yes, Goswe. You might want to let's bring in a, a former speaker of a dusty house of assembly, right? Honorable uh, Victor uh, Sabo. Uh, uh, you are welcome uh, to PFN Situation Room, uh, former speaker. Thank you very much. I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you introduce yourself to the old world. We have a uh, a thousand plus people watching us right now are doing diaspora and home and abroad. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you very much. First of all, let me apologize for not being able to hook up since. Maybe I'm analog, I'm not uh, digital enough to be able to know how to operate my phone. I'm working, I'm on the street, and I have to just uh, pull over now to be able to. Do some of those. In fact, I couldn't remember my password. Yeah. I have to do as if I don't know my password. I have to create another one. Back to enter. My name. Uh, we are still having network. Uh, oh. Right on our Victor, uh, uh, speaker, we, we barely hear you, Mr. Uh, speaker. Chief. Uh, the other one and you're not hearing me. Are you hearing me now? Uh, the network is wobbling, it's wobbling, so it's off and on. Okay, I think you might want to, uh, you might want to connect with a very strong network. Uh, oh my god, okay, can you hear me now? I hear you, I hear, I'm hearing you very well. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. I have introduced myself, right on the okay, Victor. Okay, that is my Sabo first question. Eduro, my name. Uh, uh, former speaker, we all know you. You are a good friend. Uh, we know you. Uh, uh, you are not. Uh, you were one of those uh, aspirants on this race. Uh, we thank God that uh, uh, you follow our uh, APC and uh, you were able to work and uh, make sure the APC. The... But first of all, what is going on with APC or Progressive oh, Company? I didn't hear you well. I said, what is the situation of APC in a dusty right now? Oh, oh, as we speak, APC is very fine and good. We are well seated. You know, after primaries, you must have some skirmishes here and there. But I can I can tell you boastfully that APC is well seated. We have reconciled all the reconcilable. We are coming up with our program in a synchronized form so that uh, we can be ready to hit the ground running. You know, this that time, we will hit the ground running. By the time we hit the ground running, you will know that uh, all this they have been doing is just uh, a case of uh, uh, this is a man who has no teeth or an animal who has no teeth is the one that goes to where they are, you know, the block theory, theory you know. So when we are ready, we will overshadow them and we'll take over the space. I'm sure of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Honorable Goswe and uh, Right Honorable Vitor Edora, do you all want to, people want to call him? Uh, I'm a host. This is PFS Situation Room. I uh, want to take some questions or we should just uh, abolish uh, questions. Yeah, thank you very much. I need to, first of all, state this very clearly. I didn't know that this program is cooking or it had it happening today, but the senator just got uh, an emergency call from the villa. He was prepared for this program. He had an emergency call from the villa. I was supposed to able follow him there. He has to detail me to stay around. That's why I'm looking for network around the the, the principle of that area now. That's why I'm not settled. If we are sitting now, because of the much more respect we have for you. And that's why I'm asked to stay back to at least stay in for him. He deeply regrets not being able to be with you today. Okay. 
Uh, we heard that uh, before we. So you are willing to take calls, right? Okay, Honorable Goswin. Mm. Yeah, my great brother, I can hear you. Great. Yeah, are you are you willing to take calls? Because I'm, they are bombarding me with questions here. So do you want to ask them some few questions? Of course, of course, of course. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's yes. go. First caller, right, uh, first, uh, caller, your name and where are you calling from? Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Tony from Ireland. From Ireland. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, what I want to say, sir. Yes. Uh, like, since the, the principal, Mondo Fuego, is not coming here today, what you could have do, you could have come on the media and explain to us, all right, then... You don't need to. You could, these guys will have come on their own separate on their own separate way. They're coming here today, so I will do respect. If you don't, no matter if he's busy, no matter what he's doing, he shouldn't promise us. The last time he promised us, most of us supposed to go to have an appointment with our friends or have a meeting with our friends. We're supposed to go to work. We're waiting. The people cancel their way they're supposed to do that very day. Then today. The same thing happened. I was not having like a, a, a top up, like a direct call on my phone. I have to go and get internet to put on my phone. Money. Just for me to ask him a simple question. Then now it is not it is not come up online. So what you could have do, you could have explained to us, then cancel this very day, then this guy could have come in a separate way. The reason why I'm standing like this is because I respect you so much. It is other media. The phone we have a pro here. They don't go like the person don't go like him at all. This thing now, we don't play with you. Don't play with us like that now. We are here in Western World. Hundred percent believe moving forward. It's not coming from Fed. It's coming from who that is doing it. That's what I hear. Hundred percent. I'm telling you, there is nothing coming from Fed that would be believe people benefit. Nothing coming from Nigeria that believe people benefit. It's we that that's what I say. Now go to the party every week in that state. No one person will tell us they were coming to us or they are not turn up. Uh, why, uh, why are you all blaming me? Look no. at okay, hold on, call, uh, uh, please. You that is right here, Ranomigo, you fail. Uh, how do I fail? Uh, you have is he sent someone yeah, to you... represent him. So direct your question to, to, to the director and uh, right honorable uh, Doro. This is the former speaker of Edo State House of Assembly. Go ahead, sir. You want to respond to this? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you very I'm much. Okay. Thank you very much. I must uh, uh, I must apologize on behalf of the senator. The truth of the matter is that what is happening today is just a coincidence of actions. The senator is was fully prepared to be in this program, but Mr. President suddenly called him. You know, that uh, president call is not only going there alone. After I speak to you, it's already in the villa with Comrade Adam Shomole. They are discussing issues that affect the road, the road leading to, from uh, Lokoja to Benin. You know, actions have been put in place to making sure that that road, actions are expedited on that road so that they can construct that road and get it you know, finished in less than about four months. So they are working on it. He got a sudden call, so he went there. Regrettably, he told me to come and, uh, you know, sit in for him. I want to apologize seriously on his behalf. If this one wasn't his making, I was there. And uh, I want to say that you that want to see or hear from the senator, that is passion. That is that is uh, uh, a lot of uh, hope that you have for a do. You want the betterment of it, that's why you want him to come and talk to you. He will not run from me, he will talk to you. I want to, you know, at least appeal to your conscience to at least a little bit cool down and then uh, wait for him to come. He must come here. And uh, I, you know, when you become a candidate, if you're at your own level, I don't know what you do, but imagine a candidate of a party, a ruling party at that matter. He's very busy this time and equally a senator. So a lot of issues come up here and there, and you have to attend to them according to scale of preference. So please, uh, I want you to put down your calm down, put down your temper. Let us uh, 
uh, look at it very well. This man you are talking about is a very humane person. It's a man who has been spending a lot of his resources without even knowing that he wants to contest the election. That is in the field of politics today. It is not because the man wants to be in politics. People forced him into politics. We came to a point where we are looking for persons who are kind-hearted. People who, because we have had a number of persons that are coming to the field of politics who are going to betray people. That's why they went to him to beg him to come into this game. If you see this man, he's not a talker, but he's a doer. He's not a talker, he's a doer. If you check a lot of things he has done with his personal resources, and even as a senator, and when I was privileged to know what is in the pipeline, what he has been able to put in the budget within these three to six months that he has spent. In fact, this is what a lot of senators could not do for four years. But you know, budget issues. I was a, a legislator, I am still. But you know, when you have budget, budget is a yearly thing. Once you put it this into the budget, the implementation will be awaited. And once they start, this begin to work. I need you to just calm down. We are having the first time for the very first time. What is important in governor is conscience. This man has good conscience. It's only conscience, they said, is the only thing that can curtail the essences of a human being. A lot of these politicians, you can see what Obataki has done in Edo, is secretable. A lot of us who supported it to come in, we are regretting it every day. But we need a humane person for the first time. Let's not forget about the talking aspect of it. This is a doer. That's what we need now. To every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. When you put in a small input, I get a better output. That is the best. I think we should exercise more patience for him. You cannot tell the president no. The president cannot call him and he will say no. We should please give him some time and appeal to the conscience of people. Please, don't be angry. Please, just calm down. He will be with you in no distant time. And he's going to set a date for which he can talk to you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's pick another call. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Colin. I'm calling from Toronto, Canada. From, speak I'll louder. Talk. Speak louder. Toronto, yeah. Canada. Yeah, can you, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah. If Mori cannot come on this show because he knows that he cannot speak English, he needs to forget about this election. He can't send all these guys down here they are confused you don't want no 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 don't use it uh, 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on uh be respectful please i'm very i'm very angry he did this the first time and he's repeating it again what does he take us for i understand who do you think he is but it's not their fault we want to hear from him with the only the only message he had is my uh, this is that drug to that water he died that's a simple message Tell her what you can do. He's not, he's not sound. I don't know what is wrong with APC and all the Edo people. I can't with all the people who contested the body doorman. No, all right, all right, you gotta go. I'm sorry that I cut that phone off because uh, I cautioned him. He did not uh, respect uh, the platform, so I have to cut it off. Uh, call out from uh, your name and where are you calling from? Hello, I'm calling from Italy. This is Prince. Okay, Prince from Italy. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, please, I want to talk to these, uh, my brothers, they should know I'm from Iro, I'm from, I'm from Iro, uh, don't speak. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I want to ask these people a question. If they are telling you people that the uh, APC is well organized, in the central is 100% live. Modioke was just lucky because of the problem in the in data center. Because the person that was a senator here before wanted to go for trade tenure of PDP. That was the lucky that Oprevolo has. That everybody turned back on the PDP and just, we were all happy. Let's try a new person, which is Oprevolo. Now, Oprevolo. We never said Opevolo to be a governor. Opevolo was sent to represent Asa as a senator, not a governor. And two, now Opevolo, since this several past months, Opevolo has not done nothing as a senator. The first allowance that came to Asa Central 
if a 500 million was given to open to go to his community and establish things. Because I was waiting to talk to Opel. That money, Opel will take that money and bribe some leaders in Tini, in Abuja, to become the governor of a two state. The non Opel has, there is no road in the Rua where Opel will pay for. Okay, what is your question? What What is your question? It's just a question. This My question is these boys that are here to go home. We want to see Obel. That is what I'm saying. Okay, we noted. Have to ask we, we, no we, uh, we heard you. Thank you. Uh, 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 media director, okay. Honorable Gus, we go you. ahead and uh, respond to that. Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity to be uh, mega comrade. Uh, first and foremost, sir, uh, I can understand that there are some emotion attached here. Correct. And uh, that is leading to some people using some, uh, using some uh, terminologies that is not uh, civil enough. Please, I want to appeal, irrespective of our emotion, irrespective of our concerns, we should learn to respect each other, and we should also learn to use words that are not insultive to each other. Because at the end of the day, what we desired, what we all want, is a better Edo state. It's an Edo state that works for every one of us, not just for elites, or rather the political elites. I will say that, uh, I want to quickly correct some wrong information deposited by the last caller. And I don't want this platform to be used, with all due respect, to promote lies and falsehood. For the record, I am the legislative aide to Senator Modupe on media and communication, which means whatever happens at the National House of Assembly, the Senate precisely, I'm standing at a vantage point of knowledge and understanding of what is going on on the red chambers. So I should be in the right position to place the records on the proper perspective and not for hearsay. sake. The last caller made some claims which are not true, rather claims that are false. He talks about that the sum of 500 million be given to Mode Okwewolo, that he used the money to bribe the leaders in the party for him to emerge the kind of the party. That claims is false. There is no evidence to that. I want to categorically state here that Senator Mode Okwewolo have not received any amount of money, amount of 500 million naira for his constituency that he diverted to promote his political interests. That is one. Then the last call I also referenced that since the senator has been voted, he has not done anything, neither has he uh, uh, delivered anything. Like, again, that is false. I can pardon the last caller because maybe he's living far away from Eastern land. He says from Eastern Central. He is living far away from Central. Me that is talking here this evening on this platform, I live in a those central central district. If I go to Abuja, do my job, do what I want to do, I come back to Isha. So I am familiar with the development of things in that place. First and foremost, since the senator was elected, as a parliamentarian, not an executive officer that have executive powers, as a parliament, a legislator, whose primary responsibility of a legislator is to make laws, move motions, and of course, lobby to ensure he's able to attract projects through what is called zona constituency projects to his constituency. Since the senator was so in Rada was inaugurated on uh, June 13th, 2023, he, his senator co sponsored 
a motion with Senator Comrade Adam Soshomole regarding the bad roads in Edo North, Edo Central Senatorial District. That road is what the former Speaker of Edo State House of Assembly referred to in his summation. That that road is one of the reasons why, as we speak right now, the Senator and Comrade Adam Soshomole, they are the villa in order to perfect what the minister have already started for the refurbishment or rather the construction of that road, which the contractors has already been ordered to go to site. It is the motion that was co-sponsored by the two senators that have led to that decision we taking. That's one. Second, again, the senator has moved a motion regarding the the gully erosion that have become threats to lives and properties in Edo Central Central District. The gully erosion challenge in Edo Central, which he drew the federal gov government attention to, at the Senate floor got the attention of the relevant agencies and parastasters, for instance, like the NEMA, like FEMA, and other relevant government agencies to have sent the engineers to come and carry out inspections, to come and do analysis based on the senators' motions moved in the Senate. And that is still ongoing. Since the senators has was elected, there is a major project that is ongoing. It's called Federal Government Rural Water scheme that rural water scheme can take care of five communities that rural water scheme is located in this central local government that is from that the last caller came to came from that's why i said that is not acquainted with the development in this local government because that project is located in this central local government although it was a project that was originally initiated by late Admiral August A. Homo, but was since abandoned. But when the senator resumed office, through his efforts, he was able to liaise and lobby the relevant ministries and paracetamol, and they send uh, teams of engineers to sites. And that site now, they are working, equipment have been brought, and by the grace of God, in the coming months, water will start flowing in five communities that cut across four wards, four wards in this central local government. Of course, there are other things that the senators has already also done. I don't want to go into the area of empowerment that he has even extended beyond the central districts. If you recall, there's one of, uh, I don't want to use the word physically ch challenge, but is we are referring as a physically able man who is popular obviously if you are familiar with uh, those state politics you will know it's a vicery is the chairman of the physically challenged association in those state all these years when that young able man goes out he struggles it was only one time that senator met saw him i said who is this young man they told him and today that man is driving a good sound code Toyota Corolla car that the senator gave to him. I don't want to mention the numbers of vehicles that the senator has given to the young people in Edo Central Central District. My brother, Mega Comrade, as we speak right now, the luxurious bus that the senator donated to Edo Central Central District that now runs free transportation scheme in Edo Central work as as we are talking right now in the, on this platform. In Edo Central, the senator is an alternative government. Why? Because I stand to be challenged. I stand to be challenged. He is the only senator that today runs a free transportation system in the Central District. He has a luxury bus that convey people around uh, those central central district free of charge. This information to be to be verified. I didn't come here to come and make claims. I didn't come here to come and campaign. 
I didn't come and come here to come and promote propaganda. I came here to come and put things to the people of Edo State and Nigeria that can be verified. So that the next time this program is on, they can challenge these things that have came to, okay. you know, put okay. position right. here. So the okay. senator has performed yeah. to the best uh, of his ability. Uh, we have Thank you so much. someone on the phone for a long time. Mm. Uh, let's mm. go ahead. I know you were not prepared to come to this uh, show today, but the question people are asking now, yes. where is Senator Modokweru? Where will you make him available for Edo people? When and where? what? Okay. Thank you so much. The great mega comrade. Just as my uh, my leader said, the respected speaker of a do state, the leader of the G34. Of course, those who are familiar with APC in a do state, we know the group refers as G34. Mm. You know, uh, sorry, G14, not 34. I mean, yeah. G14. You know, the 14 members of assembly who were Somebody. denied inauguration by by uh, uh, Obaseki. You know, those who be forced in defense of our democracy in those state. But I don't want to go into that. But he is the leader of that group known as G14. Just as he said before, the senator wanted to be on this program because he was the one that announced on this program last week that he was going to appear today. We are not asking but, you. Uh, okay, yes. You are yes, the sir. media director. Have you downloaded correct, the Facebook and YouTube on Senator Mondeo Pueblo cell phone? Yes or no? Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That has been done, okay. sir. So that will not be an excuse. Where will you make no. him available? The Edo people in diaspora, mm. they are not happy. I have to be mm. honest. I thank mm. God they respect me. I'm getting a lot of insults. It's okay. That is a insult. It's a part of a policy. But mm. where would Senator Mondeo Pueblo be able to speak to a do home and abroad on situation room or are you people afraid of situation room <laughs> no not at all you know uh, as you are just saying it i'm laughing because as i said before uh, there's nothing yet to be afraid of thank uh, you other uh, comrades not to talk now not be mad that they talk okay thank not you. to talk not to talk and so but what i can tell you is that once as uh, the senator told me before as i said before that once he's through with his meetings at the villa he's going to give you a call then he will call you both of you will make that arrangement when he will appear on the platform which you will now have to come and inform the people on the platform so okay, he's going to let, tell you sir let's yeah. quickly uh, let the caller he's being uh he's being on the phone your name and where are you calling from sir go ahead Okay, uh, yeah. good evening, Mega Comrade, yeah. Iran Amigo. Good evening. My name is uh, Prince Kelly Udevolu from UK. Okay, go ahead. I really want to thank you for the manner at which you are handling this situation. Uh, we love you. And uh, as you said at the beginning of this program, that you are anchoring this program as an independent individual or personality in those states. And uh, we, we can see the manner at which you are handling the situation. And uh, I really want to use this medium to specifically thank uh, the speaker of our speaker, Honorable Victor Stapo Tagaledoro, well known as a political guru in Edo State, and also the head of media, so Senator Monde Obebolo, Honorable Gus Will Inek, for being here to represent or to do a static clarification for the Edo people to know the reason why the guest for today. Senator Monday Opeolo, aka Apako Meza, is not on this program. And uh, what you have given, the issues you are given, worthy, uh, very good because they that purpose why they are, why he didn't come, or the reason why he didn't come, is what the two people want to hear. Mm -hmm. That being Ekoma Okine Express, is a federal 
road. And there was news and updates on social media and the news. We saw the video when Senator Mondo Pebolo and uh, Comp Senator Adamo Shumule with the Minister of uh, Works and the Contractor. They were in the city and they commenced the repair or the construction of that particular road. And now that they are invited by the presidency, that the owner has and make sure that that particular service has been, will be materialized and the work has to be And uh, we really thank that. But before I throw my, what I want uh, the two guests to really expand, or what I want this to be a loyalist idea, or if the spokesman for the PDP candidates. There's something I want to add that we all know that happened. But according to record, or according to what we know about uh, Marissa Aswe Igodalo, he has been the remote chief economic strategist and the principal major driver of Governor Bateke's okay. paid economic policy. Hey, Kola. I will uh, call her, uh, my brother, my brother, my brother. This is for this is for Senator Mondo. Uh, when uh, whenever I swear come, it will be here not a week. Uh, I want you to reserve your question direct to me. But you can go ahead and. Uh, make it. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, what I want to uh, tell us. Can you tell, can you dive more on that particular issue that was raised by one of those people that called in that uh, Senator Montgopelo is afraid to appear on video before the two people on this situation room? How did you respond to that uh, particular belief? Because many said on uh, last week that he's not going to come because he's afraid to appear on video. That was why he came on on to you. Please, Honorable Nengbe, or Honorable Eduro, can you respond to that so that people should understand and uh, abuse that uh, notion or that uh, mindset from the Edo uh, people worldwide? Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead, uh, former speaker, uh, Doro. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, once again, I need to apologize. I, I was out. My network took me out, so I didn't uh, quit. But I heard what the last speaker said from Esther. For anybody to think that a senator, senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is afraid of the press, uh, well, I don't know how to imagine that. Uh, he's not afraid of press, and uh, he said a man that uh, is ready for action will always be prepared for what brings about that action. Senator Pebolo is ready to be governor of those states. Unfortunately, when you check the lot, he's one of he's the best among them. He will certainly talk to the people. As we are talking now, if the cafe has not started, if you check the INEC guideline, anything you are doing now, you have to be skeptical so that you don't uh, fall into the hands of uh, INEC disqualification. When, the, when we are ready, when the campaign organization is fully set up and the drum for campaign are on, you will see Senator Monte Okpewo, you will know that it is not a man who, who, who goes to the police station, who reports a case to the police station that will get judgment at the end of the day. He is fully equipped with what it takes to bring about an Eldorado in Edo states. So he cannot do that while in the boardroom alone. He must be able to canvas his points. He must be able to uh, canvas his position, drive them to a point where Suko will be given to Edo. I want to clear that out. He's not afraid of press. And at the appropriate time, even today, if need be, he might even address press when it's coming out from uh, Arthur Rock. As we speak, he's there. 
So, uh, for anybody to think that the the, the excuse give him is flimsy, it's not a it's not a flimsy excuse. It's a very cogent excuse, and there is nobody here who will be called by the president who will not drop every other thing that he's doing and honor the president call. President is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And a man who wants to be governor in a do state and in the party where the governor is the leader. If he is called, he will not say no. I want to address press. Therefore, let me not attend to the president. No. He will honor the president first. And that is why he, I'm not even happy that he told me to go out of uh, out of the electorate. I needed to be here to prove because he knows that I have this integrity in the eyes of the people. To be able to tell the people that, yes, he's in Asso Rock. Whoever has his number now should try to call him. You can't get him because he's in the Asso Rock. He's attending to the president. As soon as he's out, he will be, we are even happy that we have a, a senator who have access to the governor, who can bring a lot of dividends of democracy to the people when he eventually becomes governor. Because what you need as the governor is contact. And once you have them, Everything you need, you bring it to the doorstep of the people. And the people will be happy at the end of the day. Let it let us take it clear that Senator Mondi Okwewolo is not afraid of press because he who seek equity must go with clean hands. And when you are roasting a yam for a blind man, it's advisable you whistle. He is already aware that he's going to roast the yam for the people of a doorstep to eat. So he must. He must talk for them to hear so that the blind ones among them will not know, think that it's already eating their yam. So we should, okay. we should take this for granted. Okay, let's pick some call. Uh, uh, Honorable Goswin, let's pick some call before we go further on that one. Hello, Lotus. caller, your name and where are you calling from? Oh, this is John Bosco from Atlanta, Georgia. Again. Okay, John Bosco. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I want to like, um, <laughs> I wonder you know, what the legal team is saying is that first of all, Montepolo was in TDP for a very long time before he moved to the PC. Like the other caller said, you had issues in PDP with uh, Senator Odia and other APC, PDP members worked with Montepolo to join the PC to be able to make him win that election. And second, I want to ask that uh, media team member that said that Montepolo, what did he do with the party he collected for Federal government? No, we are not on a palliative right now. We are discussing about. Well, we're part of the discussion, but he said that the palliative that he has been doing is so called for who is talking about that he said that he did. You know what? There's no solution. There's no solution. I can send you pictures of this. There's no solution. There's no solution. Okay, okay, we heard you. We are not. We are not. He said he promised that he was going to be here today. That so whatever the presidency has called, he would have put the presidency first before today that he has an appointment to talk to a new people. No, 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 no. You know, of course, he cannot cancel that. You know that. But, uh, but if I, the last time he told me that he had issues, he had a meeting. Okay. That he was going to a meeting. Today again, he has another Why meeting. can't we give him the, the last opportunity? Let us... Let, the uh, federal road they are talking about that they are meeting now. And uh, Bahari was there for eight years. They didn't fix that federal road. But they were blaming it on Abateki. Abateki didn't fix the federal road. But now they are not looking for what they wish to campaign against Abateki. That's why they are pushing to fix federal road in four months. So do palliative work. Okay. No. All right. Let, let's no. pick another call. You are two minutes already, my brother. Let me answer Thank another you. person. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Uh, let me just go ahead and pick another call. Hello, caller. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Sorry, unfortunately, your line is not good. Hello, your name and where are you? So let me quickly hold this for now. Uh, Speaker Edoro, God bless you. Uh, this is not, uh, nobody, I'm not saying is afraid of the media. This is a, a do, this is the biggest anti-corruption, anti-flaw political platform in the whole country. This is not channel news. We are a do people who are going to vote for him, who is going to govern, we have opportunity to call in and uh, ask questions. He need to be connected to a do home and abroad in diaspora and uh, in a do. So what we are saying is that is he afraid of speaking to a do people who he want to be their leader, to be the chief executive 
That is what we mean. We are not talking of the whole media. He, I saw his video in Channel News on Arise News. So going to Arise News is not servicing us. Arise News are not going to go vote. So Channel News are not going to go vote. Can you, or both of you, you are the director of the media, can you all tell us today, uh, Speaker, we respect you a lot. You are a man that uh, do people honor. Can you tell us that Senator Modu Kweburu will not fail for the third time to come to PFN Situation Room? This is where we want him now. Can you unmute yourself, sir? Unmute yourself. Okay, I did it. Unmute yourself. Go. Thank you very much. I forgot. Is this, uh, the senator is not the one failing. The circumstances surrounding this period is the one that has failed. Reason being that you, this forum speaking to Edo is very, very important, but respects demand that as soon as the president calls him, he must honor the president. Because he is busy, the Mr. President is busier. We understand. I I know that some persons are not happy because the last time he was able to tell the people that his phone had issues, he could not, he was available, but network did not allow him. You can see what happened to me today. I have to do extra things to make sure that I'm able to hook up. Okay. Even when he, he assigned me to sit in for him here, he is willing to talk to a do people very important more than any other per person. But the tools with which he's going to work for the betterment of a do is in the hands of the presidency. Federal yeah. parastatus, federal roles are within the principle of federal government and as a governor you can see what we have had in the opposition so far we had a senator who could not who have been there who, who did eight years but because of opposition arrangement he was able to bring little or nothing to the people of edo central you can see a senator who has not done more than six months a call a motion as said or deposited by uh, Honorable Inegbe, the president ordered the minister of war because the West of Monday Ope will tell it all, they are like magic touch. He hardly, he, he, he's a man who do not talk anyhow. If he decided to say something calculatively, you will discover that everybody that's around him honors him. Reason being that the quietness of a tiger mustn't be mistaken for foolishness. Most times, it's a calculated attempt to achieve an accurate result. Okay. So, most okay. fellow West are okay. boom. When they are deposited, he corners you. He's a bot player. He corners you. When he corners you and deposit it, it will become like the Vitor Colon, become offers that cannot be rejected. So, to me, for some of us who have worked closely with Monday in the recent time, we have discovered that for the first time, we are having a dope person who is a true son, who believes in the betterment of a doe, who is worried day in, day out on how a doe is going to do well. Monday, as I spoke talk to you, does not even sleep. By four o'clock yesterday, I was already going home. He was still calling me that there are issues that we, we must come and finalize the construction of this road, that the minister says something. We must go and clarify it. You won't believe me. We went to the, uh, the minister's house around uh, four, four years. It is the, decision we, the discussion we had yesterday that brought about the call of Mr. President today. The of Monte Opebolo, Senator, is a thing that we must respect. 
And if you want it to come to the to the floor like a pirate, I can bet you you won't get that one from Monday. Monday is a calculator. And by the time he's ready, he deposits, he talks not too much, but he's concise to the point. I still want to beg everybody who expected Monday to talk today. It's not as if it, he, will not, he may not even talk today. He can just come to Arthur Rogner and join us. But as we speak, for the betterment of Edo, he is called to the presidency. And he must honor that call. That is why. In fact, I had what I wanted to tell President today. You know, I'm a member of the G14. I wanted to remind him because he promised that he was going by now, he was going to give us a job. I wanted to remind him, okay? You promised us job. You are not giving it to us up to now. But when Monday, again, for a two state too, when he nominated me to go and represent him, I said, no, you have what to tell President. They look, what you want, your personal issue must not override the generality of a two people. Go and tell them for a two sake. That thing melt me down. I, I, I looked at him again. So do you still have people like this? So... If people know him, if it is possible to pierce it to his heart and know what he thinks every day, everybody that is thinking, talking in this platform, we continue to hate Monday. This is the best that we're having a conscious person who wants to be governor in the do. We need to encourage him. We need to respect him. We need to, to, to teach him how to be responsive to the people. And I can assure you that at the end of the day, Everybody, we have cause to rejoice that Mondeo Pevolo is the choosing one from APC and is the choosing one to be governor of Edo State. All right. Uh, uh, Honorable Goswin, you have anything to say before we pick another call? Uh, uh, yeah, well, the right Honorable Speaker of Edo State House of Assembly, the leader of the G40, have said it all, my great mega. But one thing I would just say, just as the speaker said, for most of us that are expecting uh, our uh, the senator to appear on this platform, I just want them to to exercise some little restraints and also to help to manage their hope. Manage their hope in the sense that the senator is not a talkative. He's not a talker. He's, he's a man with few words. But the words, his words are powerful. Whatever he says is what he's committed to. His words are his bonds. So I know he will surely appear on this pl platform. That is certain. But I just also want to keep our hope and manage our expectation that is not an, someone that have the oratory prowess, you know, like our highly respected Comrade Adams Ushumole, you know, who can talk and, you know, keep us to the edge of our seats while talking. Senator Monde Okpewulu, a.k.a. Akpakomiza, is a man of few words. But whatever he says or whatever commitment he makes, he ensures that he fulfills. his. And that's the reason why those who know him very well want him to become the next governor of a dust state. The mega, <laughs> no, it's because of some issue beyond his country that the rather than everybody just explain, you know, that's right. When we are here, here, what is going to tell you this platform? He will fulfill it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hello, Kola. Hello, mega. Yeah, your name and where are you calling from? That means that I recall from UK. From UK, okay, go ahead. Yes, first and foremost, I want to make it clear that the table law is not a calculator. As a matter of fact, it is not a calculator. Well, at the moment, we that are with the PDK decided to tune in and give him the audience. And he has not recognized you alone as a platform. No, it's not, it's not about me. Wait, wait, let me correct you people. We have about 1,400 people here. Those 1,400 people is not here. I'm no more than them. Don't refer to me. So I'm just a whole, okay? Fair, fair, fair enough. 
But what I don't want to say is that the man that you are giving up opportunity on your platform to come and speak to the people is not available. Are we too small for him? Is your platform too small for him? So on that day, come September 21st, nobody will be available for him. It's as simple as that. All right. All right, thank you. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry, I already called you. Hello, caller, uh, caller your name. Ababola, this is Prince from UK. Okay, go ahead, Prince from UK. Uh, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, the listener and the viewer. Uh, the invitees, I welcome you, two of you, the former speaker and uh, the media man. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact is that I just have a few words to add to this uh, topic that we are watching. I told the power uh, mega in an omega deadly last week that Mr. Mondo is not coming today, number one. And number two, uh, if Mr. Monday never intend to come again, or if he fails to come again, you people that is saying, please, it's not a threat thing. Just tell him to rest for the governor uh, race. Because you people are using a word now that is the most qualified person. It's not. We know that we know people that was qualified. It's not. And uh, if you know that he's busy, he could have not go for a governor race. He's already a senator. He could have just been a senator. And suddenly, when we want to see Tony, we all see in the media that he was talking to Tony. Who was it that? That was an appointment. He was the only Jabaka. So we the in diaspora, the people that, that have the voice, even people that have family that have yeah, to you can move around with your family to one. Please vote. keep keep your word short, please. So now that uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that, okay, that's it. That's it. Thank, right, you. thank you. Uh, Bye. Uh -huh. Hello, caller. All right, please speak louder. Your name and where are you calling to? I'm calling from Houston, Texas. Do for Okay, um, I quite well that most people are very disappointed that the senator didn't uh, show up to the program as promised. And I quite understand the applied. I'm not downplaying their expectations at all. But the truth must be told, he had a program today. Because even yesterday, I knew quite well that he was preparing for this program, to come to this program. Immediately this program started and he wasn't there, I quickly reached out to one or two people that I know. And I was told that he's at the president at the dealer. He was called into a meeting. It's not that look, anybody is lying to you guys. And most importantly is that we have six months to election. If you know the senator very well, he's not somebody that disrespects anyone. And so I mean, in his background and everything, he respects anyone, regardless of class, regardless of your uh, status in the society. So he would definitely come and speak to a group of people directly by himself. I can promise you that. And this election, I always tell people, it's not about... Um, is a fight between a certain kind of people, people who, who believe in elitist kind of government and somewhere that is grassroots. Senator Mod, even before he went to Senate, he is already a grassroots oriented politician. And I can tell you that he would do my, well for a good state. My brother. The other said, maybe somebody, yes, sir, I'm listening. Yeah, if we have noise in your background. We are just trying to manage it. So, okay, sorry uh, about that. Mm, so, so I let... said the other set of people, or the other set, they claim that they are men with Sabi. But I can tell you that some is on Monday. is a man, is a doer, is a man of few words, like Goswami Negbe rightly said. He's not a talkative. He's somebody with few words, but he's a man that does exactly what he said. And I can tell right. you that every All promise, right. you can bank on his promises that he's going to make to a new people. 
All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we just managed that. Hello, Kola. Let's take this one before we allow the. Okay, the line is bad. Let's go ahead. Uh, the, uh, Honorable, I think uh, let me just pick this last call right here for now. I have been muting like more than a thousand calls. Uh, hello, Kola. Kola. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? My great colleague, this is uh, Adrian. Okay. Adrian from Jersey. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the great comment, I thank you very much. I expected this was going to happen, that it wasn't going to show up. Uh, you see, uh, this, if you look at the, the other one that just yeah. I don't need to sit there, you'll be so surprised that uh, is it uh, no. uh, or whatever? Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised that these guys are in the beer salon right now, and they are inside there. That's how they hate him. At Pakum is at Pakum is up. It's right there. It's not even in any garden meeting. These guys, you know who, who they think they are, right? They think this is how. When they come out, there's so many disease, uh, uh, so many DC. In the end, they have their strategy. In the end, they know how to die barrel people. Not this time. They are shading mm. this guy away. They think this platform will people will be able to size the deficiency of a uh, uh, model level. That is why they are taking me away from everybody. Trust me, he didn't go nowhere. I wasn't surprised to be. I just want to tell, thank you for this room standing your ground. You have fulfilled your promise to everyone, right? Right. But there's a point I want to make. Mm -hmm. We stumble twice against a piece of stone. It is probably a disgrace. You understand? Mm -hmm. These guys should just know this is not his time. Mm -hmm. He should give Alfred Rodalo his time. Thank you so much. Okay, what do you have to say about that, uh, 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 Speaker Adoro? Or mute yourself. Well, when people speak in this platform, I I used to think that somebody needs to be mature, refined enough, before you can come to the public and start speaking. I, I, I my integrity is my collateral. And I can use you need to bat for anything, anytime, any day. I cannot imagine myself saying that this is where Senator Monday will peace and somebody is doubting it. It's unfortunate. I'm disappointed about that. I do not see why I should hide the identity or whereabouts of Senator Monday. God is me, and God knows that Senator Mondioka will have appointment with Asorov. If you have his number, you can call his number, where to go. If you have uh, Senator Comrade Adam Tuchumulet's number, you can try it. Or call anybody to know where you were about us. There is not the EDT. Two of them are there in Asorov. They are called. And why are we in haste? Mondi will certainly come here and talk to the people. He will do campaign. You don't want to campaign to the people. You don't want to talk to the people of those states. How do we, where do we yearn for things you cannot, uh, you don't like a case where somebody dreamt that his father died. If your father don't die in the morning to die in the afternoon, if the death doesn't come, definitely in the evening, the death must come. What it means that prayerfully, the father is supposed to die before a son. A son. So, whoever is ready to uh, Contest for governorship of those state must know that he must talk to the people. And the don't people did on the first time. He contested for Senate and defeated somebody who was a uh, second timer in the Senate who was contesting for the third time. With all the money, the love with the love he has for the people and the people have for him, he won overwhelmingly. So all this that we are talking about now in the do as a do people. Who they prepare? We are here talking about the the, the absence of the Senator Modupe. Somebody because he has sympathy for Aswe Igodalo, who we have not seen, who is an Ishan man who I don't even know, who have not we have not seen, who have been chairman of Sterling Bank. I have no branch in this land. Who did not support that Anakpa group? We are looking for money to create 
to, to solve security problem in a do state. You are coming here to talk like a parrot. Is that what they don't need now? Has the Bartek not spoken enough? Is that what we need? We need action. We don't need MOU anymore. We don't need bankers. Bankers are coming to deceive the people. We don't need them. Any the people, people that have been taught how to fraud, they will deceive you. You will not know it. So, Senator Modio Pevolo, I'm happy from the statistics we are gathering. He is the favorite candidate as we speak right now. And when the campaign starts, you will see the overlay, overwhelm victory in September. So, we are united in this front and we are ready to take Edo to where it should be. Modio Pevolo, to, not to talk to Edo people via this very significant platform. Eranomigo, if you don't know, this platform is one of the most powerful platforms with which you can reach adult people. Senator Mondo Pueblo knows this. He has high regard for you as a person. He has high regard for you and your platform and the people therein. So for anybody to belittle himself, to think that Mondo has no regard for him, to hear from him, if you are busy today, create time for when Mondo Pueblo will come. Even when you are not there, when he finally comes. You will get the clip to watch. So why are we in haste? Are we going to be more Catholic than the Pope? Because uh, things are difficult. Are we going to go to the mortuary, by, uh, go to the very ground by ourselves and get ourselves buried? We won't do that. We are ready for this. And by the grace of God, when the more people will come, when you, when you hear from his meekness, deep humility, high sense of regard, you will know that a God sent has come. Power come from God. If you see the movement as the, of Senator Mondi Okwewo, you will know that Mondi Okwewo is God sent. In the primary of APC, everybody least expected Mondi will become the candidate. But before you know it, he silently, with his uh, powerful uh, negotiating power, got the ticket of the party and the people voted for him. He knows how to do it. Don't underrate him. The more you underrate uh, Modi Okwewo, the more you are digging a political grave around yourself. So, I have been mandated by Senator Modi Okwewo to tell this platform, or the people of Edo State via this platform, that he regrets not coming here today, it was not his making, that he must create time, no matter what it costs him, to not to reach these people, to continue to reach a Yeah, I think we're having a network a breakdown. Maybe he got a call. Uh, let's wait for for him to come out. Uh, caller, uh, I think we have a call somewhere on the phone. Your name, I will. Yes, your Hello, name, I will. Now, now, John, they talk to you. If I, okay, go if ahead. I, hmm. If I, you know, say I can call you that day, eh? not let people deceive you this time. Uh, wait, wait, I'll wait, say. wait, 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 wait. You people are yes. making it all about me. Don't set me up. You people should not set me okay. up for anything. Le wait, okay, wait, you know wait. That. Stop. Huh? Right now, we have 1,300 people watching live. Senator Modi Okpeboro, I am doing him a favor. They are not doing him a favor. I'm not running. I, this is his dependent platform right now. So you people making it. Can you go and tell Igmenedion? Oh, Igmenedion is setting you up. Can you? Why are you people trying to set me up against one another? I don't want that. Go Sorry, ahead sir. and talk what you want to Sorry, say sir. and go. Hey, if you see the other man when he come from the uh, UK, when they talk, when you try to stop him, see, I know they against what the know whether he come to the or he not come. Make they not use that Ekoma Aouchi Okene road. Eh? Uh -huh. Use them as. Say now, what did they want to campaign with that? You understand? Maybe they just forget that when the people will not be come this morning, maybe get special meeting. That's why not be come. Maybe they not use that road matter. They stand up their campaign. And the other one, this other man when he talk, I know I'm very well when he talk to you. So I know I reach out. This man, when you talk about the PDP senator for uh, Eastern Central. When, when they wait, because the PDP senator, the guy not listing. If he listing, the whole Eastern Central, 
special words, all of the same and say, step down because only two times you go go. You know, yeah, he was wrong for the top ten. Now all the Asian people gather together, vote for the All the Asian central, Asian West, gather together, vote for the Okwabolo. Let me say the man, this that man stepped down for another person to call represent PDP. Nobody will take that post from that place. I'm not there against what the Okwabolo. You understand? But those guys when they call, when they call, they talk, they talk, go here, talk, go there. I don't know the go sit down. All of them are the same. That first one when I talk to you, I know I reach out. When say in a media something, something to Okwabolo. This one last one when I talk to you, so I know I reach out. They'll be deceiver. No, when don't use that don't, don't use that word. Do something, do something, don't use do that word. Don't use okay. that word. I'm gonna pick another call. Okay. Uh, uh my brother, Honorable Goswe, do you have any response to that? So that we can let you go. Unmute yourself. Uh unmute yourself. Mm. Okay, let's pick one call before yes. you meet. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. Uh, Kola, hold on, hold on. Uh, Kola, hold on. Go ahead, uh, Honorable Goswick. Uh, once again, thank you so much, uh, Mega Comrades, Clement, and Amigo. As I want to thank you because of thank this platform. You. When you don't put in place, we enable everybody all over the world to express themselves. You know, just like the last caller said, I, I couldn't get the name again when he said, no, or Richard out, say, no, me. John, John, from, 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 you. John from, from Europe. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, but however, uh, you see, I noticed that they quote uh, some of them, they keep ref although, although these people were well, not surprised because some of them, they are PDP uh, sympathizers. It's normal. Everybody has interest. In Politics is a game of interest. That's just the truth. It's a game of interest. So once you have an interest you are promoting, I don't have any problem with it at all. But when you have an interest you are projecting, don't think that that interest you are projecting should override the interest of others. No, everybody has no interest when it comes to politics. Now, you know, they keep referring to because of the crisis in PDP. That was why the senator won the election in the last central election in the central, central district. But what they don't know is this. If you noticed when I'm making my presentation, I speak authoritatively with facts because i am sitting on a vintage position of knowledge i am an eyewitnesses eyewitness eyewitness to the political events that led to the electoral victory of senator Monday okay in a do central central district how apart being his director of media and publicity I was the APC spokesman for that campaign. That campaign, all through the 51 wards and hundreds of units in a, those central central districts. So I was active both online and offline. Now, when they keep referring to that election because of the crisis in PDP, where I don't want to totally say yes, that one does not count. But the second question is that. During that, when the result was declared, what position did PDP came from? PDP took third position. It was Labour. It was Labour that came second. Mm -hmm. So if it was true that it was the crisis of PDP that gave Okwebo the victory, so what happened to Labour who came second? In that election, PDP came third. My mega company, I don't understand if you can understand my analysis here. So what I'm saying, what played a pivotal role in that election was the political goodwill of the candidacy of Monde Okbebolu, aka Akpakomiza. His track record, his political antecedents, what he was doing years far back, even when he has not comprehend of contesting for any political position. As far back as 2005 and 2006, this man have already started drilling boy holes in different community. I know my dear brother, you are familiar with his story. What led to his decision to be, you know, drilling boy holes in different community? Because of the loss of his only sister, 
who died as from the cause of complication from a stream water he she drank after washing her clothes on the stream of course maybe the soda they used to wash clothes at that time is caustic yes chemical so I drink the water i used to i used to wash clothes like that too god bless you sir that was because so because at that time so there is no good medic medic health care so when she came by, oh, my belly, oh, my stomach, oh, my, that's why she shouted. Nobody could understand what was going on. And she died innocently. And that day, this, this senator was a young man then, cried. After crying, he prayed to God, God, if you bless him, he will ensure that this problem of water, not just in his community, the major problem in this land, my mega comrade, is water. Because uh, those central central city district is located in a typographical area where to water is very difficult to get. Like some places in the Edo North and Edo South, when you drip boil hole as you know 200 to 150 to 250 uh, meters, you will have water. But in Edo Central, if there are some area you will drop to a thousand plus, two thousand, you don't even see water. So this map make a vow to god god should bless him he will solve this problem and eventually when god bless blessed him as a young man the first million naira he made that was what he used to to, to drill boy hole in his cup in his community that village where that stream was where they were going to where the, the sister went to that drank water and that he he also showed and showed that he, he he put a boy hole there and as i speak today across the five local governments in the those central central district at least at least this man have one boy hole projects executed in those local governments and he we did all you. this as i said before uh, uh, so, so so uh, sir, so sir, let me summarize uh, so, let me summarize please we believe yes. you okay. but the problem is that what you are saying now have not been demonstrated to edo people in 20 years yes Senator mm -hmm. Modo have given us his word twice. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. I failed. So mm -hmm. all this story now is a good story. So, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, like me, I'm not buying into it. Mm -hmm. Speaking for me, dependent mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. So we have to be. We have to. We're going to pick only mm -hmm. one last call so that I can allow you to go do whatever you want to do. But I have more than one thousand people. If I allow them to call. Hello, caller. We cut you off, please. Mm. Caller. Hello. Uh, yeah, your name and where are you calling from? That, go ahead. This is David from Atlanta. Okay, go ahead. Mm. Mega. Yes. This your people that are calling and condemning this man. I don't. I'm not from Edo State. I don't know any of them. But these people calling and condemning these people. Mm -hmm. They are the PDP in the other side. Okay, where is it? Wait, wait, stop, not, stop, stop, actual, stop, call them. Them. stop, stop. Where are the APC? Where are they? Do they stop them listen, or to call? Listen, listen, let me finish now. You know no, we gotta be on there. No, you can't just throw something. No, wait, wait, let me owe you. No, I won't let you, I won't let you say that. This is a APC man, right here, right now. We have advertised, hold on, we have advertised Modupeburu better than any other person. Oh, I of course, honorable. The right thing. That's true. That's true, sir. That's so, true. what are you talking? No, I will not allow that. I will not allow that to fly. I say PDP are calling. No. Before I swear you go that look calling, nobody advertising. True or false? When he said he was coming, he came. I did not advertise him. I did not post his poster. From there, he captured a lot of people's mind. Let me be honest. We have to be honest. I'm speaking from independent mind. If I do not know Senator Mondo Kweburu today, if I do not know him, I know the kind of man that he is. I will be, I will be like them. But I got to be honest. So when people say, oh, they are PDP, they are PDP. Listen, excuse always given when you fail. When you win, nobody give excuse. As an APC, when I leave this show, it is my duty to tell 
anybody outside this show. I will talk to them. My party, this is how it's supposed to be. But right now, I'm an independent. So I don't want people to be saying, hey, PDP are calling, PDP are calling. Where are the APC? Do they not have cell phone? Honorable, do you, I don't think what I'm saying it makes sense or not. <laughs> Of, of, of course, you, your point is valid, uh, the great mega coverage. You know, the, the, yeah, your point is valid. I, we, the truth is, as you rightly said, is this. You know, uh, you've created a platform whereby everybody has equal treatment, fairness to you. And uh, we deeply appreciate everyone that have called in, even those that criticize. See, criticism... For me, as someone who is actively involved in politics, I see criticism as if as a PMS, as we call it in Nigeria, that you put into your vehicle to fuel your vehicle to get to your destination. If you take good criticism in good faith, you use them as a raw material to work so that you can get the best out of what you do in life. Uh, but why criticizing? It's also good that we put certain things into cognizance by also trying to be fair in the process of criticizing. You know, since I've been talking, I try as much as possible not to talk about the PDP flag bearer who is running against Senator Modi Ukwewulu. And the reason why is that when it is time for campaign, when we tell the those state people, the truth, who will campaign? Who will, will make them to understand to see the two individuals that are involved? And of course, we will also bring out, let's see their antecedents. Because it is, of course, within the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, it is the inalienable rights of any citizen to aspire for any political position. However, in before you think of running for any position, it is good that you should be able to also show to people your political antecedents, your track record, what you've done before. That is where the senator is is ahead above all other gubernatorial candidates in this incoming election. He has something that he can tell the adult people what he has done even before he contested for Senate and why he's in the Senate. He has what to tell the Edo people, the central district where he represents, what he has able to do in the few months he has spent in the rent chambers. You know, if you re recall before, I, I made a statement before that the senator is an alternate government, alternate government in Edo central central district. Why? You know, that is not a campaign statement. Is a statement of facts because, as I said before, the state government, despite the five billion naira that federal government gave to the state government as palliative, which the state government even agreed that they use for transportation, the few buses that is the governor Basaki led administration said that they have used that money to provide for to carry people for free transportation, does not even the the the, the people from the Edo Central. And I don't know, and major aspect of adult South, they don't benefit from that program. But you have a senator who has a transportation system in the adult central that runs from Monday to Monday, that runs from morning to evening, free of charge. Come on, how many senators in Nigeria can has able to provide that in their, in their constituency? Even how many city governors are able to don't do that in their own states? They might have done that. These are facts. These are very verifiable facts. Are not propaganda. As anybody can go to Edo Central and carry out their, his or her independent investigation. They might have done that. Just as I was talking about the issue of boy who we're talking about before you said I should call just now. As I was saying, the issue of water is a major challenge in Edo Central Central District. Successive government from the federal government, state government, local government, go government they told uh, those central people, popularly known as the Eastern people, that they cannot have water because water is not found in uh, those central. That was the lie, the big lie that the, uh, those, uh, those central people were told over the years. But today, that lie, the senator, Modok Bebo, 
has demonstrated by his scheme of providing water for communities that if you are set to achieve any goal, you can achieve it. You know, someone mentioned the other day that some of those boys who are, I want to, on this platform, challenge that person. I want to challenge the person to show which of the boys who sank or drilled by the senator that is not functioning in a decentralized interior districts. You know, some of these boys who, quick, let me tell you, uh, mega comrades, I, and I want your honest opinion on this. When someone goes to a community and drill a boy who put overhead tank, provide the generator sets, and hand over the project to the community, is it still fair that the person that provided that project is the one that will be seized bringing money to fed the generator set to pump the water? So one or two of these boyhood that people say are not running, go and find out what is challenge. You will find out that they will say the generator set that is there, there's no fair to power the generator set to pump the water. And the senator said, look, I have handed over the project to this community. The community should take ownership, take ownership of the project. Then provide foil for the generator set to pump this water so that the people can get this water. That is just the honest truth to anyone that will say it's not rushing. But in terms of technical sadness of those projects, there's nothing wrong with anyone. Every project that the boy project that state have executed as far back as 2006, 2007, they are still functioning today. And I start to be challenged on this. Okay, okay. God bless you. Uh, my mm -hmm. advice on that one, we have people, let me tell you, <laughs> honorable, I know yes, no matter what I do, criticism is going to come. More than 1,000 missed call. Yes. If I pick all the whole call today, only God knows. So I have someone that has been waiting for almost 10 to 15 minutes. So let him just talk concerning the borehole. Yes. I think senators should be using solar, solar energy to power it. That is my opinion. Okay. Uh, opinion. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, go okay. ahead, okay. Uh, uh, caller. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Comrade. Yes. Uh, Good evening. I am calling from UK, please. Okay. Uh, I want to thank I want to thank you for the program today. Yeah. Um. I also want to thank my brother, uh, Mr. Goswe, for making this available. You know. Uh. But um, there are some observations I want to make with with regards to what uh, my brother has been saying. You know, he has been mentioning boroughs uh, frequently. That. Uh, Abakomiza did on a, or as a personal project before he came into politics. That is a good, it's, it's a good one. I have nothing against that, you know. But I also watched uh, the other, uh, the other PDP man, Igudalo, that said that he also gave scholarship to his people on a personal level. So everybody has done something on a personal level. What we are saying now is, let Abakomiza come on the platform. Let us ask him his plans for education, his plans for healthcare, his plans. For for different aspects of the of our economy, that's what we want to know. Yes, everybody has done something on a personal level. One said he did scholarship. One said he did borrow. That's fine. Nothing about nothing wrong about that. But at the conversation, has to come to the platform okay. to tell uh, to tell the uh, how he's going to achieve improve education, improve healthcare, improve the civil service. To how he's going to fund the infrastructure. That's what the people want to ask him. So and Mr. Gossip cannot answer those questions because he is not running. That's so that is my that okay. is what I just observed here. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I let me quickly let me me let me let, uh, let me let Honorable right. respond to you just three minutes, then I will go ahead and and so go ahead, honorable. Yes, yes, I you want to appreciate th thank you so much. Yes, the last caller, thank you so much. He made a valid point. Of course, the senator is soliciting votes from a do people. And the adult people has the right to ask the senator certain question regarding his agenda for the states. I totally agree. And that's why I'll be appealing that by the grace of God, we are going to ensure that the senator appears on this platform so that opportunity will be given to everyone to ask the question they want to ask. And the senator will now respond to those questions. They have the right to find out from the senator to know what is his plan. I mean, sectorial plans as far as the state is concerned. 
Exactly. Thank you very much, sir. Because uh, that, that's the problem. Like I just said, you were focusing too much. So, on, uh, uh, so, so I agree. I, I agree with the last caller. Mm. Mm. Uh, allow it. Understand that. Everybody, everybody, everybody mm. can be philanthropic, but mm. we we need it to come. We need it to come. Yes. Okay. Let me yes, end. Yes. He will. He will. He will. Mm. Uh, he will. I have to be honest Sir. with you. What are we say in the in the mm. private? When we are talking privately, I want to say in the public. I will tell you mm. what now. Before our senator, Senator Modi Okbevoro, a.k.a. Yes. Bakomiza. Before yes. we come to this show, the director of the media is here now. I have given mm. him two days. They have to pay you. Because <laughs> when things are, very, are free, you don't value it. If they book ITV, they book channel, they book uh, Arise News and pay for it, they would don't want to lose their money. So because it was free, I did it out of my will, and uh, we have lost a lot of my fans. Have lost hours that Senator Modu Kweburu cannot pay for. I myself, I lost almost five hundred dollars on Sat on Saturday. Um, uh, yes, on Saturday when I did not go to work, I lost five twelve hours. So today, mm. thank God, I told him I was not going to call him at work. And I'm not ready to lose any other money. So I want you to relay this information to us. That yes. is owing, is owing us. So he's owing us. Most especially he's owing me. So uh, I want you all to know if you did not see Senator Modi Okpewuru yet, then you know that he has not paid. That is why he's not here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mega comrade. <laughs> no, no, sir. No, sir. Okay. Once again, I want to say thank you. You are an illustrious son of a do state, and we are all proud of you. And thank everyone that is participating in this platform, this is an Edo platform, which we are proud of. And I and I said that by the grace of God, on my own, we ensure that the senator appears on this platform to come and talk to the Edo people that he want to govern. He will do that and let the people also have the opportunity to ask him some questions, which is their evil right to do, sir. So whoever that is angry, I still want to appeal that they should exercise some restraints and uh, give the benefit of doubt to Senator Modupe Werike Akpakomiza. At the time when we, we appear, definitely, I believe that some of us will be happy with him, the way he will respond to some of those uh, questions. Even though he might not be respond to some of those questions uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, verbosely, I mean, long, in a long form, but the premium of the questions will surely be it will be tackled and justice will be done. And at the end of the day, everyone will certainly be satisfied with him. And quickly, I want to correct the pressure. Well, you know, earlier today, someone was saying that whether the senator is, is scared of appearing in a video or be recorded. I went that, I heard that, I was just smiling and I shook, I just shook my head. And the reason why I did that, that this is someone who contested for Senate. During the Senate, he, he, he engaged so many media he carries some so, so many media engagements, so many interviews, so many press interviews and all that. Hey, we are recorded. The records are people can go to Facebook and you know can some I, of those can videos I are there. Can I help you clear that? Maybe you didn't understand their point. Their point okay. is that is mm. uh, when they say that it means that a do to face a do, this is raw, this is authentic, okay. this is not okay. a stage. Uh, mm -hmm. if you go to channels new today, we will not value it because. They pay. Mm. China is going to ask what they want them to ask. It's called brainwash mm. media, mainstream media. We don't value it. So this is raw. And uh, you okay. and I know the truth that the APC, mm. about they are afraid. They're scared. That is the fact. That is our belief. That they're scared. Mm. And uh, you are here now. You are present. We have to have yes. Lord give give honor to who who who, who deserve it. Igor Dalo have done what Senator Modupeuro have unable to do. And I'm telling you now, you go down, they are pressing me, people are pressing me, he want to come back. So, don't be surprised, it will be here, maybe next week, next two weeks, then APC will be crying in the platform and say, ah, why is he go down going there? Nobody is holding Mondo Pueblo not to come. 
So I just want to make that clear. That is what they are talking mm -hmm. about. If you like, you go to ITV. Okay. So it's not that. They say he's shy. He don't want to face Edo people. These are raw. We don't know these people calling. We don't know them. Some are your brother from your own village, from your, your, from your own street. <laughs> that is why PSS Nation Room, people, mm. politicians are afraid. That is the fact. You know the truth. Okay. The, 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 the point is, is clear, Nasa. But yeah. I, I, I assure you that Senator Modi is uh, equipped for the task. He, asks, he, he actually asked for this job. So he asked for he, he it was his own decision. These are yes, these, these are, are part, part of it. Exactly, exactly. It was his decision. So it's part so of it. So there is no there's no running away from it. Uh, my mm. last question, I'm shutting this, uh, call it down. No more calls, don't call. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna answer. Mm. My last mm. question for you so that I can let you go. Uh, yes, sir. Before, before we ruin this and they will blame me and you. <laughs> <laughs> My last question is that uh, yes, sir. as a member of APC, and yes, uh, you have been there, you are very close to Senator Modo Kweuro. Do yes, you sir. think that you people rely on federal might so much that you disregard it with the masses? Did you not see danger in it? Well, uh, my beloved brother, in whom I'm well pleased, the truth is that we the recent uh let me help you. development no let i promise that there's a word there's a word I, there was a the word i want to use with the recent revolution in our electoral system for instance when we talk about the INEC uh, uh system of conducting election now like what we've seen during the presidential and the national house of assembly if anybody is still thinking that there is a way of winning an election with that not seeking the vote from the masses or from the support from the masses. Such person, he or him, is deceiving. In fact, it's a broad daylight deceit for such human being. Our electoral system has been revolutionized to a greater extent that today you saw what happened in the last presidential election. So the point I'm making is that for us and for the candidates, he is not depending on the federal might. He's, going, he's depending on the might of the electorates, okay. the might of the voters. Do you know why? That is that why. Question, honorable. Okay, sir. Yes, Do you sir. know why? Mm. Because no, sir. in a do today, mm. yes, sir. Uh, this will help your campaign. I'm not supposed to do yes. this. Okay, but I'm I will do the same to to a barista a hodalo. Yes. Because in every household in Edo South, in Edo mm. State, before you count four hours, there is one or two people in the diaspora, true or false. That's true, sir. Okay. Like my mother now, like my house now. Mm. I can boast of maybe let's say about 30 votes or 40, just in my household. My father has 17 children. Their kids are already 20 grand grand kids. So let's say 100 mm. votes right there, for example. Mm. Mm. Whoever I tell them to vote for, who is they going to vote for? Mm. Neglecting, avoiding diaspora, and those masses at home. Don't you think that if the other party continue to bank diaspora support, that APC are not going to repeat the first strategy of 2020 because okay, they blame it for Buhari. So, can you tell us today, God forbid, if APC lose, that you people will not blame it on Tenobu? Blame no, it on no, 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 first, first, thank you so much. First and foremost, APC will not lose this election. What if that no man is no, gone? no, okay, okay, I understand. Paraventure, let me use that word. Paraventure, that's what we are trying to say Federal now. Federal might was against Tinubu not to become yes. president. Federal mm. power was against nah. Tinubu. Nah, nah. <laughs> mega comrade. If you listen to my analysis before, I didn't even measure that. I said before that the senator, his strength, his confidence, his victory in this election is depending 
on the voters, the electorate in those states. Okay. The man conducted the election before against establishment. The governor was supporting the then senator in a those central central district, Senator Clifford Odia. He was a service senator and supported by a city governor in those states. The man, because Akpa Komisa was the man of the people, the masses came out, they elected him and he won. And he 8, won. Votes, about 8,000 votes. I can't no, get more, more, right now. And okay, well, more than, depending who he won with. No. If you calculate, the PDP have 25,000 plus in that vote. PDP have, uh, PDP have mm -hmm. 25,000, mm -hmm. 245. Yes. APC have 41,000, yes. Labour yes. Party have 32,000, Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. That is the That was why, if you recall that, when some people were saying it was the crisis in, in the PDP that led to his victory, you just read the results. The PDP, they are saying because of their crisis, you can see the distance between the 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 Oak results and the PDP candidates results. So PDP was not even even say he said that if there was no crisis, the result shows that they would have even worried. It was the labor that was even the threat. So despite the labor wide wind that was blowing around the country, then Oak Pebble survived. I mean, when I say Pebble Senator Modok Pebble Akpa survived in Edo Central. Why? Because of the masses. Because of his political track record, his goodwill, because of his philanthropic uh, endeavors, he has engaged over the years, even when he didn't imagine or contemplate that he was going to contest the election. He became a household name for his goodwill, for his humanitarian services in this land. So when somebody comes here and say uh, this election, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to take this election between the two people contesting. Because we, 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 as I always tell people, even as much I'm very active on social media, I'm still very active off social media. I'm an active politician, so I can tell you the dynamics in the Edo uh, state political environment. But let us not even go into those areas. Because they say experience speaks. This man, this senator we're talking about, you can see how... He won the election based on the good from the masses from the people. My mega comrade, as earlier as 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. 2 p.m. on that election day, that's the election, result was already been declared and Modopevo was being celebrated across the central district. His victory was not contested because it was clean, free and fair. Mm -hmm. So it is same modus operandi in law, so to say, the same process and procedure, the same mentality, this orientation that is carrying to this state election, not the federal might that people are trying to use. The man is going to meet with the people. Please, my victory is in your hands. And I know you can do it because I have this, what I have done for my people in my central district. I want to come to, rep I want to replicate it at the state level. I want this state to get out of its current position where nothing, absolutely nothing, is working. That is, we, that is the reason why, if you check our campaign slogan, we said that a new Edo is rising. How do we get that slogan? Because from what this, the candidacy of Senator Mondeoka will represent, he represents a new Edo that is rising from the current doldrums. That is ready for the current, you know, uh, infrastructural decay, for the current economic, you know, that trump that we are experiencing in the state. Because what he has successfully done in a those central as an alternate government, people have the trust in him that he'll be able to replicate it at the state level. The question now is those who are contesting with him from other political parties what track record do they have to show what have they done before politically of course we respect the pdp candidates who on his private sector he has been successful for himself and his family all these years you'll be chairman of various uh, organizations the question that the people are asking what have your people benefited from all these positions you have occupied over the years 
it was when you now you have intention to contest the election. That's when you realize that you came from a central district. That's why you realize that you, there's a need for you to be coming around to your home. That's why you realize that, yes, you need to do certain things. No, the people are not stupid. They are not foolish. The voters, when I say the voters, the organic voters who will come out on that day in mass and go and cast their vote, they are not stupid. They are not foolish. They know the person that will be with them. They know the person who have genuine, sincere interests. They know the person who is elected as governor will genuinely and sincerely, you know, bring that development that they desire. And quickly, I want to round up without not being trying to attack any candidate of any party. But I must state a fact. The understanding of most people today in those state is that the candidacy of barrister Aswelime Igodalo is a Baseki totem agenda. Obaseki ah. stood up in this state. Yes, yeah, a top term uh, agenda. My brother, Obaseki is not running. I will say the same thing. It, it's not yes, running. Yes, it's not, it, it's not uh, running. Uh, but it's the play the role of Godfather. Against Obaseki, you should have done it four years ago. I don't want uh, any Obaseki issue here. Yeah. Igodalo is the one running. Okay, uh, okay. Where, where the point I, I was I trying to make. For seven years plus, uh, when APC was with Obaseki, they hated uh, me. When the PC the that the no, I have to be honest. Yes. Trinity about yes. Baseki, I don't discuss it anymore. <laughs> you remember when I was fighting about Baseki? All of you, of course, we're the party now. Exactly. Mm. So mm. they said everything I'm saying is a lie. They cannot come back and tell us now that is not mm. true and it's not in another mm. side. So, uh, where, uh, where, <laughs> where I where think I the point quickly, on. the point yeah. I, the point I would just try to make is this: He fought against Godfather, I mean the Baseki. Now, nah, now nah, he wants to become the new godfather in the state. I think that's just the point. Yes. And the other people said, No, America, they don't want it. In politics. There must be a godfather. Yes. Uh, when but the same was he fought against. Uh, Senator Oshomule, I came yes. out and defended the Senator Oshomule that godfatherism mm. is everywhere mm. all over the world. So, mm. political godfatherism is placed everywhere. So, mm. nobody can eradicate it. So, mm. I, no, well, you know, I appreciate it, it, your man. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Yes. I think in this part of the world, mm. the understanding where well, I, I think is a is a misplaced understanding, so to say, in quotes, mm. that when you say Godfather, people think that a uh, someone who will ensure that the the treasury, so to say, of the states where the Godfather has been able to influence the God's son to govern over will now become the, the fifth deposit of that godfather. And that's why you see the connotation of godfatherism in this part of the world is rather negative in the mentality or the subconsciousness of most people in this part of the world. But in the developed nations, like the climb where you lived, I quite agree, it's not that way, it's not that pattern. Because yeah, but there's godfatherism. Honorable Goswill, uh, I think he has a network problem. Honorable Goswill, I uh, now let, so let me talk to you one minute. We gotta go. Yes, I have sir. to let you go before we ruin it. Do you have yes, a sir. No, oh. that is the truth. Don't have, just like, just like my brother, aka Akba Komiza. Does yes. he have a godfather? Ah, uh, mega comrade. Now, the primary election speak as of taking care of that. Now, you saw no. what happened with the primary election. No. Now. No, it's all happened with the primary election. We, 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 we uh, are seeing we the media. We are seeing uh, we know what is yes. happening. So yes. uh I thank you so much. I love this show right now. I am praying to God <laughs> we to end it in the best way that yes. you so that you will go home. Uh, yes. we, they will appreciate you before yes. as I'm talking to you now, course are coming in. I <laughs> your phone is out. <laughs> So, yes, uh, I will predict this today. The Godfather, yes. the Kabbalah, mm. will not allow Silito Modo Peru to come to this show and speak to you people. <laughs> I want to say the so, manga uh, that are right, don't expect mm. him to come because I know uh, the Kabbalah are working. He's a good man, mm. uh, he has yes. defended his cause uh, yes. very well. But uh, mm. the fact is that uh, no man is God. Uh, I want true. to say this in the media. During that mm. primary, I have my principal. Everybody mm. have their own. We didn't of have 
Who uh -huh. said he was the he was the is the one that said God that we say mm. that nobody mm. who gave Modupeuro a chance. The chance, but, exactly. Uh, I, I'm yeah, saying I, 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 yes. I told them, I told them that Senator Modupeuro is a threat. I told them, but nobody believed me. Uh, <laughs> so uh, today <laughs> I will say this again. <laughs> He mm. said, "What happened to Modupeuro? It can happen to mm. anybody." So, mm. uh, my people, I want to beg you, tell the cabal yes. to let Modupeuro be Modupeuro. They yes. are making it look bad. Every successful story about Modupeuro you have said today, we are yes. hearing it. But the mm. truth is that we are not believing it by its action. Okay. So they, you should beg them. Let them let Modupeuro. Be Modupeuro. Modupeuro have a story that he can tell the whole world. That yes. I mean, a story that you will feel you will. So, I'm telling you, I'm yes. just telling you from my bottom of my heart. Yes. If your Modupeuro go to campaign tomorrow and start shouting, we will not believe, because his track record since he become a candidate is what we're going to follow. On another yes. way, as when he go that low, who could have thought? I will be talking about Aswan Igodalo, a PDP mm. and Obaseki uh, good friend. But I come to see him as a genuine man who will tell you I will be there and he will be there. There's no sugar cutting about it. He has proven it to have the whole world. So I want the same thing from Modo Peburu. Please tell him, let Modo Peburu build his credibility in public domain. Running for senatorial race. It's not the same thing as running for gubernatorial race. We are talking of different federal constituencies that think differently, that behave differently. The way Edosa behave is not the way Esa behave. It's not the way I uh, do not behave. So please let him know uh, that uh, he have removed uh, food out of my children's table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm not I wish you mm. good luck. I wish you good luck. Uh, mm. When I left my show, I am an APC independent man. So yes. when I left my show, I am completely independent. It's just like those traditional rulers who play politics. Once they leave politics, they go wear their traditional shirt. Right? Mm. So mm. Uh, if they come into politics in the field, traditional day, a part, not carry my vote. Uh, while I go start. Yeah, no. It goes uh, start. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that, uh. Th th <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Mega Crumby. Quickly, before we shut down, uh, I just want to quickly say that Senator Monday, Okbewolo, aka Akpakomiza, the gubernatorial flag bearer of APC in Edo State, has tremendous respect for Edo people in diaspora. I'm not just saying that because my principal. I'm saying I say that to say this that if you recall, immediately after the primary election. He actually had a short trip when he traveled out of the country. He was he traveled to US and visited some states in the US. And I can show you the series of meetings he had there where with uh, do people in diaspora. For instance, no, the diaspora no, not with uh, do people in diaspora, I object that. No, he no, like the diaspora I mean, APC. I mean, no, I live, in, I live in Dallas. He was still okay. hours away from me. I want to be uh, show is very raw. Uh, so, no, I know he will, he, will, he, will, he will be here. The point I want to make is that he had a meeting with APC Diaspora Council. No. Legend now. Professor London. He's a Dr. Mm. Yahoo Yahoo from South Africa. As a lemon. He's a froster. He's not a... He's a wrong people. Mega comrade. Why do you people? That is the question. Mm. No, where, 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 as I said before, these are those people who are no, not living in Nigeria have, now. You agree with me? E N A. Mm. Okay. E -N -A, a do national okay. body. Oh, okay. 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 He did not meet with a. Uh, he met with uh, that uh, South Africa Yahoo Yahoo. That's it. That claim uh, that for that council. It's not that. He has no green card. He's not a resident in America. He's a resident okay. in South Africa. So he's just a political froster. That is what I call him. He's watching right now. So, Okpewero always find of finding himself in a wrong place. He have time for wrong place. No, no, he have time no, for no, that. that is the truth. No, no well, I, I think uh, now that you, you just mentioned this, this, now, you see, this is one thing I like about you. If I didn't raise this issue now, 
I won't even. You erase some part of what you just said. It is not my responsibility to go ahead and investigate this thing. But he I can say you are the Okpawo. Yeah, yes, Okpawo on his own at the point he did that. He did that from his own heart as someone who is meeting Edo people in diaspora. Let me you understand. You so that before you uh, go, let me say public domain is watching right now. Yes. Uh, I know where he stays here. I know his friend has that he stays. He just came to United States. I asked him, who, who told you to be diaspora council chairman? He said, mm. as a baby. As a baby, uh, in, eight years ago or nine years ago, it's not a part of uh, APC. He said okay. they sent it to Mexico. I told him, go okay. to Mexico. This is America. You cannot come from South Africa. You are not resident here. You don't even have bill. You are not paying bill. You don't have an address. No green card. No citizenship. Can you allow anybody from uh, Kogi to just come and claim that he's the owner of uh, Edo Central when he has no address, have no home? So it's a fraud. So what they do, they okay. organize council. These are political mm. yahoo yahoo boys. I call him South okay. Africa yahoo yahoo. So what they do, they form a group. He, he is the one, he will use one uh, ambassador to call you. He will tell you his ambassador mm. with a different voice. There, he will not say his boss will come and talk to you. He will not come as a professor and doctor did. The same man. So, Senator Modokwewero should be very careful. I'm the one saying it. Mm. Okay. I know him. That is how he brought mm. uh, His Excellency Agba. I invest, mm. He didn't know that I know Agba. I conducted mm. on that kind of investigation. I am in, mm. that is what I do. So mm. when I found out, I caught I caught him away from Agba. He told me not to support Agba, to support uh, uh, Victor Boegbe. He was not supporting mm. Okweburo. I'm telling mm. you now that uh, South African Yao Yao man, is, mm. he did not support Okweburo. He supported Victor Boegbe. So mm. he was trying to collect money from different aspects. I caught him up from Agba. Because me, I love Agba so much. I don't yes. allow anything to go. <laughs> anything. Agba value his name. When my mm. daughter met Agba, he said, Daddy, he said, This man, he value his name more than anything. Agba, not they play with his name. So, mm. uh, please don't repeat that mistake in another not place. It. Oh, it should not be not, close okay. to people at all. He mm. can cast people okay. fan with our APC, the good or mm. the bad. You should not claim it. Mm. OZ, OZ, you know yes. OZ, engineer. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, that's okay. Mm. He must he's okay, the yes. president of diaspora, he's the chairman of diaspora. Okay. That is the authentic, and it's also yes. the apex leader of a world local government. Mm, yes. When you ask, uh, ask nice. Salame, where do you vote? Where is your word? Where do you, where is your voter's card? Yes. Ask a question. Where did you register as a PC member? So we are not going to allow the this uh, uh, the, to turn this government to Yao Yao government, South Africa Yao Yao. So God bless you. Uh, Thank you so much. Let's get out of the show before it gets out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy the show. I, 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 I wish I could just continue, you know, uh, talking, but we need to hang up here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You. All right. Thank, Thank you, you bye sir. Bye. All right. All right. Bye-bye, sir. Hey, bye-bye. people, uh, I want to thank everybody. We still have a thousand, a thousand, one hundred and thirty people watching right now. Uh, it's just good. 1,109 people watching right now. I uh, thank you all. We are two, almost two hours, 30 minutes on the show. Uh, we have done well. Uh, <laughs> so we have done well. Uh, like me, if uh, Dr. Igodalo come and I see he's hanging, uh, hanging himself with uh, wrong people, I will still tell Igodalo, just like I said, that man is a South African, is the one that calls South Africa, yahoo, yahoo. he must find a way he must find a way to penetrate any candidate. So uh, that is that is his job. And if you see their platform, it's all Yahoo Yahoo boys, Yahoo Yahoo South Africa, Yahoo Yahoo boys. That is almost all of them, seventy percent of it. Uh, I, 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 it's a fraud. It's a fraud. APC should not take him serious. Mm. So that that is the part. Uh, Oh God, let me just block you so that you can go. Don't insult anybody here. Maybe go and create an account, another account. I love you all. Right now, uh, I have to go to work. We thank God Almighty. I want to thank everybody that watched this show. Uh, and uh, tomorrow is going to be, is going to be bumper to bumper. I'm going to be making a huge announcement tomorrow. A huge one, heavy announcement.
Mm. So, okay. <laughs> uh, not at all. Me, I am a very honest man. Everybody knows me. I don't sugarcoat anything. That is it. I say it the way it is. So uh, the media director have done a standing job today. Everybody need to appreciate it. Mona Clafora. He don't try. He try well, well. Mona Cla. He no easy to come less than a minute. Hey, Mona give her thumbs up F to come and defend. <laughs> you see how he managed the situation here with a uh, uh, former speaker, Chief uh, Doro. Uh, you all should applaud them and thank them for, you know, for explaining the situation. But however, let's see how it goes. Uh, or God, where they talk, say, uh, where will this, where will that? You get platform. May you go invite and call your platform. You hear? Go, if an amigo did not do it right, you go and do it right. All right? Mm. This one says, what are you talking about, Henry? Everybody, what are you talking about? Let me bring it here. Um, let me quickly read it. Okay. So, anyway, I got to go to work, guys. I got to go. I love you all. I'm heading to work. Uh, tomorrow, Mega will formally give his... <laughs> There's a big announcement to make tomorrow. Uh, we are going to bring another heavy way to show. But tomorrow, we will be announcing it. So we can now bring in all political party uh, candidates. So we cannot bring them in. And uh, there's an announcement I'm going to make tomorrow. Uh, a heavy announcement. People are going to be shocked. And it has to do with money. Uh, it's a my way, Sabuna, to the right. I love you guys. I got to go, guys. I love you. I love you. So that ends a uh, PFM situation room today. God bless you. Uh, please share this video, like this video, hit the notification bell icon uh, in order for Facebook and YouTube to recommend it for others to watch. You all have a, a wonderful night. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? Uh, bye for now. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye for now. All right? Happy birthday to Prince Clem Agba. Thank you so much.